Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to The Hive. In this video, we'll be taking an introductory look at NFC tags in your smart home. Now this video is just going to be an introduction to NFC and what we can do with it with just our tags and our mobile phone. We'll be discussing the NFC technology, how to set up some tags in Home Assistant, and we'll take a look at some ideas about what you can use it for. In a future video, we'll take a look at creating an NFC reader so that we can trigger events with an NFC tag, but without our mobile phone. Now, before we get started, I do want to say a massive thank you to all of you watching this video. This video should be coming out around the 29th of August, 2021, marking one year and one day since my very first upload on this channel. The channel is also on track to tick over 2000 subscribers any day now, if it hasn't already. So thank you very much for being a part of the last 12 months and if you're not one of those 2,000 subscribers, take a moment to change that. And while you're at it, you might as well hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out when I release new videos each week. And let's get started. So what is NFC? Well, NFC stands for Near Field Communication. Even if you've never heard of NFC, you probably already have a piece of NFC technology and don't even realize it. Any bank card that supports contactless payment uses NFC to communicate between the card and the payment terminal. NFC has a bunch of different use cases. It can be used to pair Bluetooth devices to your phone, it can be used to connect to Wi-Fi networks, share contact details, or as in the bank card example, pay for your groceries. There are two parts to NFC. We have the tag itself and we have the scanner or NFC reader. In this case, my mobile phone doubles as a NFC reader. Tags like this one can be programmed with all sorts of data, whether it's a plain text record, a website link, a street address, or a connection string that will auto join a Wi-Fi network when you scan the tag with your phone. There's lots to NFC, which might warrant a separate video. So comment down below if you'd like to see a deeper dive on NFC as a technology. There's a bunch of use cases in the home automation context as well, which we're going to take a look at a few shortly. The great news here is that Home Assistant supports NFC tags as triggers for automations out of the box. All we have to do is set the tags up in Home Assistant. To get our NFC tags set up in Home Assistant, we need to first have some NFC tags to configure. I picked up this pack of 100 from AliExpress for just over $30. These are just little 25 millimeter stickers that I can program and have them do whatever I want. If you are shopping for NFC tags, make sure you get the NTAG215 variant to work with your mobile phone. To set up these tags in Home Assistant, we're going to start over in the iOS app, but we will then move over to the web interface because it is a lot easier to write the automations in the web interface than on a mobile phone. Now, if like me, you are on an iPhone, you're going to need at least an iPhone 7 or newer to be able to write to any NFC tags. I believe most Android phones have supported NFC since the beginning of time, but your mileage may vary here and you should always double check that your devices are going to be compatible before spending your money. Now, I will be doing this in my production instance because that's where my iOS app is connected. Normally, I would do this in my testing instance. So over on my phone, I'm going to open up Home Assistant and uh, in here, I'm going to tap in the top left hand corner to expand the menu and I'm going to scroll down to configuration and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to tap on tags. Now you'll see that I've got one tag in there already called test, which was added 10 weeks ago. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap add tag in the bottom right hand corner here and uh, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this one 
a video demo uh, and I'll leave the tag ID uh, empty. We'll hit done. I'm going to tap create and write in the bottom right hand corner. And now I need to scan it. I need to hold it near a writable NFC tag. And I'm going to hold it near this one here that I've got. Tag is written. So all that's done is it has put the tag into Home Assistant. So over on my Home Assistant instance, I'm going to go to configuration and we can either go to automations or we can go to tags. I'm gonna to go to tags for now and I'm going to tap this robot icon to create an automation for the video demo tag. What I'm going to do is call this toggle dining room lights. Uh, I'm just going to leave the triggers as the tag, the video demo. In another video, we'll take a look at trigger IDs to see how we can use those to make smarter automations. Now in this automation, I'm going to ignore conditions. I'm just going straight to actions. I'm going to call a service and I want light.toggle because we are toggling the dining room lights. And I'm going to pick an entity and dining one, dining two, dining three, Dining four. I'm also going to add in here Mirabella, which is the light behind me over my left shoulder. We're going to set this transition. Let's make it a nice smooth transition. We'll make it three seconds. I'm going to set the color temperature to around 5600. Uh, the white level is going to be 255. Set the brightness to 100% uh, and we should be able to leave everything else alone. I'm going to tap save on that now. So what I'm going to do uh, now that I, we've uh, programmed an automation for this tag, first things first, I'm going to just read this tag using an app on my phone. So uh, I will open up NFC tools on my phone and I'm going to tap on this read button here and I'm going to take the tag and I'm going to scan near the top portion of the phone there. And uh, it has read that tag and it's also come up open in Home Assistant with that NFC tag. So if I tap that alert, it's going to open Home Assistant and it has toggled the lights off. And you can see on the laptop here that we've last scanned it just now. If I hold the tag up to the phone again and tap this alert, our lights come back on and they're transitioning over a three second period, just like the automation. Now, if we go back to NFC tools, we can actually take a quick look at the details of the tag. It's just um, the tag type, the technologies available, the serial number, whether it's protected by a password and uh, the records that are in here. So uh, record one is the uh, home assistant URL that it's calling the payload. There's even a QR code for that as well. Uh, and record two is the same thing, but it's specifically for Android. So now that we've set up a tag, we can actually just use that tag as a trigger for any automation that we want. Now it's important to note that in this configuration, tags are triggers only for automations and can't be used as conditions. And this is because it will scan the tag once and then it's done. It's not going to then rescan uh, the tag if you leave the tag right next to the tag. So we've demonstrated how to set up NFC tags in Home Assistant, but the question then becomes, what is the point? Well, because you can use NFC tags to trigger any automation that you like, your imagination is the limit here. One of the th examples that I've come up with is maybe on bin night, you've put tags on the top of your bin and when you wheel your bin out to the curb you can scan it and that'll disable a reminder from firing later in the night to remind you to put the bins out. Maybe you've got a smart lock on your front door and you could put an NFC tag by the front door and then scan it with your phone to unlock the door. Now because the processing is being done by your phone and not the tag there's no security risk here. Anyone who doesn't have a connection to your Home Assistant instance could stand there scanning this tag all day long and they'd never be able to unlock the door. The same couldn't be said if they have an axe, but I digress. The last idea I'll mention here is that you could use a tag like this to 
start your work day if you're working from home like everybody else is right now. So you could put this sticker on your desk and when you put your phone on your desk, it activates work mode and does some things like maybe turning the office light on and maybe it would set that office light to a, a more blue spectrum of light so that it helps you remain more alert uh, as opposed to maybe if you were relaxing or gaming and you wanted to uh, have a softer light. You could also have the tag scan disable an automation that turns the light off if there's no motion detected. I used to get pretty frustrated when the light in my home office would turn off because I wasn't moving enough during a Zoom meeting. So what I did there was I changed the automation for turning the light off to only be active during certain hours of weekdays. But because everyone's working from home, our hours tend to be a little bit more flexible. So something like an NFC trigger to toggle that automation on and off might be a bit more appropriate for your setup. Now, obviously with this idea, the opposite is also true. You could put your phone in a different location on your desk to deactivate the workday mode and maybe set some softer lights, turn on some RGB and play some chill out music through a smart speaker to help you start to relax after a long day while you maybe play some video games. There's many other use cases that I've not mentioned here. And to be honest, my imagination isn't that good when it comes to this kind of thing. So comment down below with your ideas of how to use NFC tags in your smart home. I heard a fantastic use case on the Home Assistant podcast, which you should absolutely check out, by the way, and I'll put a link in the video description below. One guy in the United States had set up his basement as a board games room and created scenes for each game in his collection. He put an NFC tag in a specific spot in each box and then a, an NFC scanner in a specific location on the sideboard. So when you put the game box in that location, it would make that gameplay much more immersive with colored lights and themed Spotify playlists. We'll be exploring some other NFC use cases in a future video when we actually build an NFC reader. So that's my introduction to NFC in Home Assistant. With iOS, there's other ways that we could be using NFC by using the Shortcuts app, but the Shortcuts app is definitely a, a deep rabbit hole that maybe deserves its own separate video. That is all we have for this video, and I do hope that it helped you in your home automation journey. Be sure to comment down below with a home automation idea you'd like to see me cover in a future video and let me know what you want to use NFC for in your smart home. Don't forget to follow Hivemind Automation on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and I'll put those links in the video description down below. If you like this video hit the thumbs up button down below and give it a like and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing now and while you're at it don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified when I release new videos each week. Lastly, if you enjoy what I do here and you want to help to support the channel, there is a buy me a coffee link in the video description down below. Those contributions through buy me a coffee help me to make more and better content for you to enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.